ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new review. Behind us is the new Volkswagen Up GTI. Uh, it's borrowed to us by a subscriber. He uh, had the uh, Volkswagen Polo GTI, if you remember, it was a blue model I reviewed a few years ago when the channel started. And uh, he switched from that to the Golf 8. He wasn't really happy with that Golf 8. But then he decided to go back to his first car, it's the Up. And uh, after a year, he decided to upgrade to the GTI finally. So we're gonna take this baby for a review and uh, let's go without further ado. Here's the little Volkswagen GTI up. This is the facelift, of course. Now I'm gonna show you the key fob uh, real quick. So this is an old key fob. You can see the uh, lock, unlock, and unlock the cargo. It's a grasshopper key style. And you can see the uh, updated Volkswagen badge. So this used to be the key fob for the Golf 4. Uh, so you can see uh, they've kind of neglected the up. Uh, I think they could have given it a new key fob. But uh, coming to the car, uh, it looks gorgeous. Uh, it's a spicy little car. So this is powered by uh, 1.0 TSI. It's a three-cylinder to recharge petrol engine with 115 horsepower and a six-speed manual. Now, uh, what's different on the GTI facelift? And you get the compared to the standard packages. So you get the different bumper and you get the piano black contrasting uh, front bumper. So otherwise it will be in the color of the vehicle in the standard packages. And you get this uh, bottom lip. Now this is cool because it also looks like a little bit off-road package. It's about just unpainted plastic. So it's also going to protect your clear coat if you get any uh, small chip stones at the bottom. Now coming to the side here, we have the classical uh, LED uh, bulbs on your daytime running lights, but uh, your main lights are H4 bulbs. Now you can upgrade these to uh, either Philips or Ostrom. I think we have Ostrom here. Uh, the owner changed this uh, so it has that uh, white cold light instead of the just classical uh, warm yellow light have the turn signal slow bulbs there and you can see the fogs at the bottom as well you can see uh, unpainted plastic you can see the lip at the bottom and there's an air intake on the bottom and a little bit on the top and uh, the GTI gets the little st red strike there and the GTI badge now the Volkswagen badge is not a Raider anymore it used to be in the facelift they decided to remove the Raider for emergency pedestrian braking and add a lane assist camera on the top. I'm not sure why they didn't keep both, but it is what it is. It's some sort of Volkswagen politics that only Volkswagen understands. Uh, this strikes are costume added. I think they suit the red and black theme. Now if I move, you can see the beautiful up. Really practical city small car, but uh, it comes on this 17 inch alloys. These are diamond cut uh, silver on black and you get this cool uh, big Volkswagen badge. It reminds me of the Volkswagen Beetle. And then you get of course the contrasting red calipers since this is a GTI. Uh, you get a little bit here uh, fender flares. Uh, this black strip is standard on the GTI and you get the GTI badge. Now to show you on the top, this is the new lane assist camera and you get the light and rain sensor. Also roof is black. Uh, this is not standard. This was also costume added uh, by the owner. And you can see it's a PPF uh, wrap sort of, if the camera would like to focus on that. There you go. And he also added, which is pretty cool, uh, this side up, so the up is going that side forward. Um, now, uh, to come and check the side profile while well, there's no traffic, you can see a uh, gorgeous little car. You get the tinted windows on the rear from factory, and on the rear you get drum brakes. Uh, also, not to forget, side mirrors are in black, and you get this nice spoiler, so it has a little divider in the middle. It's kind of cute. It's a little mean spicy car. Uh, it's very agile uh, thanks to the uh, power it has. You have the little uh, diffuser on the bottom, nothing too aggressive, and a little uh, real exhaust pipe on the left 
thanks to the GTI badge, otherwise you wouldn't have that. Uh, you can see the, uh, there should be a fog light on the left and you have the two reflectors. Now there's also a backing camera. I think the owner added that, I kind of forgot from the top of my head. And you get the GTI badge and a little stripe. Also stickers uh, from the owner. This car looks like a toy, so uh, the Germans will understand. And uh, on the top you have LED lights for the license plates and a little camera. We're gonna show you that inside and you have the rear parking sensors. Now, fuel cap, you have to use the key to open that up. So I'm not gonna do that, but you understand how that goes. And you can see the recommended run is minimum 95. So now to show you the cargo space, you uh, of course press here, uh, but before you do that, unlock the car, press and then you, just a minute, this keys are heavy. I don't want to by accident uh, scratch the car. That's why I was hesitating. So once again, you press here and pull this little plastic up. Now, uh, here is the car. You can see the whole car in the frame. This is practical. Um, now it's full of stuff, but you can see this is my bag here. And let me see if I can just put this on the side here. So let's we'll see. You can see how much space is there. I'm going to put the whole space inside the whole volume. Uh, and when you knock down the seats. So it's a practical small uh, city hatchback. Uh, you can put maybe two carry-ons inside. Uh, inside you get grocery hook here and here. And then if I move this to the side, you can see same and you have on the left side a little warm light. You could remove these. So there's a little shelf here. You can put maybe a longer umbrella here, but there's a gap here. But I think if it's just a normal umbrella, it would stay. And there we go. So you can see the cargo space when it's empty. It's fairly spacious. Uh, you can, of course, uh, lower this shelf down. So you can see uh, if you want that, it can get an extra room. So let's see here. You would get extra five. Okay, so around maybe eight fingers of height. But if this is in the upright position, you have almost five fingers of uh, height to the loading area. Now I'm going to remove this here to the side. And you can see with that removed, there's uh, like 12 fingers of height uh, to the shelf. Now uh, at the bottom, you would get a patching kit and a um, Beats audio amplifier and a subwoofer but the owner decided to uh, remove that and upgrade. As you can see, uh, this is the uh, Matech by uh, Audio Tech Fisher. Hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And you can see uh, there are two speakers at the bottom and a uh, subwoofer um, and I'm sure there's somewhere an amplifier as well. So we're gonna demonstrate the sound for you, of course. Push this back and Uh, now on the top you can remove these so as mentioned and there's a router stopper here so if you close it doesn't ding and here only on the right side you can close this up now uh, let's check the uh, rear still have the old handles I think it was like the Golf or I think the 5 got the new handles forgot now so solid opening and closing sound. The rear doors open fairly okay if you need to put a child seat on the rear. And uh, checking the seals. Okay. And rear windows. Uh, there's ones that you push and then you can open them just like that. So you can see that from the outside. They close the door. You can see that. And then you pull it in and close it like that. So these are factory tint, the Roman 5 uh, confirms that. 
Uh, you can push key here if you need to lock from the inside for the kids. Now, since this is the entry model uh, from Volkswagen, you have a really hard plastic that's getting robust. Really small shelf here and a speaker at the bottom. So this car is mostly for front passengers and occasional rear passengers. Now I left my uh, bag here, but uh, if I take it out, you can see the interior space. Now I'm just gonna put it to the side so it's not in the way. And if we knock down the seats here, you can see that is a flat bottom, at least to the shelf. And you can see the rear room there. Uh, you also have a tether point uh, over here for the child seat. And uh, what I forgot to mention is you can knock down the seats 60 uh, 40, of course. And over here, there is uh, no plastic covers for the ISO fix. Now, check the seats, these are classical GTI seats. They're textile, they have this uh, GTI pattern, and you can see the black uh, roof liner since this is the GTI package. Uh, I'm gonna jump inside to get these original carpets with the also contrast uh, red and white stitches. Now, uh, I'm a two meter tall person or a 6.6 6 in feet. You can see there's uh, enough feet room and enough knee room which is uh, surprisingly uh, great. And over here, it's the seats are soft, they're good in the winter, nice and warm. You have a long and tall windows and a big window on the rear. So there's a good overview, despite black roof, there's uh, enough light coming inside. You have hooks on the B pillar, but the uh, seat belt is not adjustable. And for some reason, only known to Volkswagen, they decided to remove the top handles even on the polo facelift as well let's hear the closing sound that's a good closing sound uh, considering there's no uh, soundproof dampening inside the uh, doors now this is the front so let's get on the front because that's where you're going to spend most of your time not to forget there's a room for a water bottle as you can see there now you can see there's a little wasp nest there, huh? And uh, the driver end has the physical cylinder to uh, lock or unlock. And uh, on the mirrors, there's actually a physical blind spot, and you can see the turn signals facing the driver. And uh, solid op opening and closing sound. Front doors as well, they open a little bit wider. You can see also seals are the same. And same design of the doors. You have the little flashing light with the car is locked. Um, opening there, uh, you can adjust the power windows and heat them or defrost them. Uh, you can lock or unlock from the inside and you have two uh, power windows for the front. And this rest is hard plastic. Uh, on the front, there's a little bit better uh, space for water bottles. And you have the aluminum uh, doors to the GTI. Here's your tire pressure. And these are manual seats. I don't think there's electronic seat option. This is for up and down, push up to slide back and forward. And I think uh, there should be another mechanism to tilt the seat. Uh, as you can see it, it's over there on the other side. So that's for the passenger, but this one has it on the other side. Uh, Small bolsters on the bottom, a bit bigger on the top, but uh, I think they're fairly okay. I was driven and you can see the integrated headrest, you can see the top. Uh, as we mentioned, it's a manual, you can see the paddles, no, no sport paddles uh, or aluminum finish. I think you need to go for the Polo to get those and you can see classical Volkswagen uh, light switch. Keep it on automatic. Uh, if you need fog lights, then there's front and rear. And uh, steering column is adjusted manually. And you can adjust the uh, beam height there. Let's uh, jump inside. I'm gonna tell you what the owner did also here. Some differences. So good closing sound, but we had a water bottle inside. I'm now going to uh, open it once more. 
So closing without the water bottle inside. Solid closing sound. Now let's switch to the wide lens. Voila. So uh, I'm just killing time behind while I'm filming. Uh, you can see you get the uh, GTI uh, sports steering wheel, flat bottom. And uh, you get the manual gauges, you get a little radio uh, and radio, <laughs> excuse me, you get a little climate on the top and radio that has a nice display and there's even a backing camera. Uh, let's zoom back in. So steering wheel has a little texture to it, uh, red contrast stitching, uh, it has nice profiles here and as mentioned flat bottom, you have the GTI in aluminum and there's volume options. You can mute, uh, change, I guess, stations. And here you have a little trip computer options, voice commands, phone calls, and uh, I guess for the trip computer. Uh, you can either uh, reset here, and over here you can maybe change the screens or dates, time, really not sure. Uh, and over here, you have the classical Volkswagen switch. Now this is an old one. Uh, I think this is from the Golf for the uh, fourth generation and you can see here cruise control options on off uh, lights and turn signals and over here you can see the uh, uh, wiper controls i can't remember if it's a fourth generation or maybe even fifth now uh these are your errands of course you can move these close and this is all hard plastic on the top uh even in the a pillars uh you get this uh, GTI pattern, black and red. Now the facelift has a uh, airbag curtain, so that's an upgrade for safety. And um, these are your GTI, actually I'm not really sure if it's a GTI, I think these are standard um, gauges. Uh, we're gonna put a key in ignition in a moment, you can see the speaker there, you can put a smartphone here. Uh, the owner is from Croatia, so he has this despite living in Germany. And uh, you can see here, there's a uh, radio at the bottom and climate controls on the top. And the rest of the dash is familiar in the uh, GTI up. You can see speaker in the A-pillar. Now, uh, glove compartment, there's plenty of stuff. You can see some coins. Uh, I don't think there's any carpet, so it's a bare plastic. There is a sunglasses on the top, uh, a little maybe um, holder for maybe business cards. So it's fairly spacious. There's some private stuff in there. And then over here we have the, you can put maybe your phone, a little shelf, and uh, you can put a cup holder here, some stuff here, so you can like put it like that. And at the bottom we have the blank, set tire pressure to full outlet. It has a little spring so it closes automatically. Now this is not red. This is also the owner uh, found this in Škoda, City Go. Um, so it was the Monte Carlo version. And he went to Škoda and bought it for 50 euros. And this was black in the GTI originally, but he wanted this red and I think it's a good match. So you can do that, I guess. Uh, Six-speed manual. Now, well, the contrast is, my hands are like, uh, yeah, now it's adjusted. So you can see the six-speed manual. It's kind of short. It's, um, it's precise, it has a little travel, but you put it in the first gear and it's short. So this is for the reverse down and first gear for reverse. Uh, still manual handbrake, uh, no cup holders. So this is supposed to become a thing of the past uh past 2022 production so i'm not sure if they're gonna put electronic brake but that's and you get a little book here you want to put it there i don't think there's any holders underneath and you can see the color of the vehicle there uh, moving to the top you have the uh mirror and it's a good overview uh, this is a classic you can push it like that up if someone's blinding you from the rear passenger air brake information and you get a little uh, warm lights there and um, over here you have a little documents holder no privacy mirror it's kind of disappointing they, they couldn't add that but it is what it is this is not extendable so there's a little area there it's still shining 
and uh, let's put the key in the ignition, which is in my pocket. So let me just take it out. So all the owner also has a second key, so I kind of added this modification. It looks cool as well. And you can see the uh, needle uh, check on the DTI. Okay, AC fans are kind of uh, blowing when I lower the fan speed. So you can see the classical uh, gauges. Uh, this is in German, so you can see the consumption around 6.4 liters. And uh, on the top here, you have the AC controls. You can turn off the climate, uh, I guess. Actually, no, excuse me, this is the auto start stop off. Uh, the rest is for the climate, so front. Uh, max blow is here. Rear defrost. Uh, ooh, you have heated seats. Huh. And you have here a closed air circulation, then where you want the air blow, automatic, AC on or off, and fan speed. And I guess this is for the temperature. Um, you can turn off the lane assist there. Passenger also uh, heated seats, and you have the hazards, which you can see on the side mirrors. These mirrors look so small now. <laughs> and you have a little cool clock at the bottom. Uh, you can put an SD card here. Uh, and you have radio media, phone menu, and then maybe like presets. Uh, I like the little screen, but I think they could have added like a screen here or something like a little bit bigger, but it is what it is. I think you have an aux here, if I'm not mistaken. Now, uh, I don't want to get a copyright, but I did promise you to show you the um, uh, the radio. So we'll do some music demo. Now this is quite loud, uh, subwoofer on the rear, so I showed you. I don't want to blow your ears because it's already blowing mine. Um, but it's cool, if I go to the reverse, you can see the little uh, backing camera and parking sensors on the rear. Uh, this doesn't change with the steering wheel, but it just has this like distance projection, but it's quite cool. And if you take it out of reverse, if you put it to first gear, things should be gone when you start driving. So actually you can press there, huh? That's cool. So that was the uh, little up. Uh, I'm going to do a, oh, sorry. I'm going to do a separated uh, point of view driving in this car. But to wrap it up, uh, I'd like to show you the front bonnet for once to open. And uh, right on the badge, push it up. So that's the mechanism there. And here's the little 1.0 three cylinder turbocharged petrol engine with 115 horsepower. Uh, you have the uh, blue thing for your washer fluid, the rest leave it to the mechanics. You have a little leg uh, on the side there if you want to open it. Uh, a little, I guess more force and uh, that was the uh, GTI up uh, thank you for watching uh, if you want to see separate video point of view driving and I'll do a night uh, review and full impressions on how this feels on the road so thank you for watching be a cool person smash the like button leave your comments below how do you like the up GTI facelift and stay safe I'm gonna see you in the next one bye